Over the last two years, I've played around with hundreds of AI tools, and these are the seven ones that I wished I used sooner. From AI tools that can completely change the way that you will do script writing, to AI that can generate entire UGC ads for your business. And there are AI agents out there that will make you want to fire your personal assistant because it can do such a good job using AI. Besides that, it can also run 24 seven. So let me just dive in straight away into these tools. I will leave the link to all the tools that I mentioned in description down below so you can check them out for yourself some of the tools i mentioned are free and other ones are paid so let's start off with a free tool which is called google studio ai now google ai studio has a new feature called gemini live and this thing is wild you can literally share your screen with google ai and it sees exactly what you're working on and with that comes a lot of opportunities because let's say you're having an issue with a video that you don't know how to edit you can literally live ask google to to help you with this editing. Now, the way it works is you go to Google AI Studio, then you click on stream real time, and here you can share your screen. Once you do that, you select the screen that you want to share. For me, it is Premiere Pro, and then you can talk to it right away and you can explain what kind of problem you're having. I am new to Premiere Pro and I want to do a smooth zoom out animation at the start of my video where the video starts zoomed in. Could you walk me through how I can do that? Sure, I can help you with that. First, import your video into Premiere Pro and place it on the timeline. Then, select the clip, go to the Effects Controls panel, and under the Motion tab, find the Scale property. Set the starting scale value to something higher than 100%, like 150 or 200. Then, move the playhead to the start of the clip and click the stopwatch icon next to the scale property to add the first keyframe. Move the playhead to the point where the zoom out animation should be completed and change the scale value to 100%, which adds a second keyframe. This should create the zoom out effect. Do you have other questions about Premiere Pro? Thanks so much, that worked. I used to watch a whole lot of tutorials when it comes to figuring something out like a software, but now I can just use Google AI Studio for this. And to me, I'm not sure if like any type of content creator gets replaced with this, like I might even get replaced with this, but it's pretty cool to see how far we've come that Google can now like see what's going on on your screen and it can help you with that. I will leave a link for this in the description below if you want to try it out yourself. I think it's still in the early stages, but it will only get better in the future. Let's dive into the second tool, one that I wish existed years ago. LTX Studio is an AI-powered platform that streamlines and automates the pre-production process for you. It can turn a simple ID into a full storyboard or a draft video, complete with AI image generations and videos. Now, with that, you will have full control over the outcome of these images and videos. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to create an ad for a perfume brand. Instead of like me explaining what my ad ID is, I can just show you with this visual storyboard. Here's how it works. So we click on start with a new concept, then we can develop the concept with AI. So inside LTX Studio, I can just give it this simple prompt, then I can fill in these settings and then I hit next and then it will create this entire storyline for me. So here I have one ID right here. I have also this ID and I can even generate some more based on my liking. Once you have one that you'd like, you click on next and then you can select the settings of your cast. Now here you can change the video style. Let's do film noir, for example, and then or character is also converted in a film noir character. I then have my two characters and now I can start to create my story. So now I hit the breakdown and then you will have a complete storyline like this. All you now have to do is to just tweak it a little bit and to make it your own. So you see all of these images right here. You can tweak them. You can generate videos out of it. You will have a soundtrack, a voiceover. Everything you can imagine will be done for you in LTX Studio and you can have complete control over the outcome. Here's a short example of what I made after tweaking this a little bit. You don't see her, but you feel her. A whisper in the dark, a shadow in the night. She lingers on your skin like a secret you can't forget. Apsura, dark, mysterious, unstoppable. If you want to try out LTX Studio yourself, I will leave a link for this in the description down below. Now, this next tool completely blew my mind when I first started using it. It is called Poppy AI. And if you're still using ChatGPT to write your scripts for your videos, or you're using it to answer emails, then you need to consider this tool seriously. Because how it works is as follows. It's basically a visual storyboard where you can import all kinds of references, so all kinds of sources, and we'll take all of that and put it into a chat engine. So for me, I'm using Cloud 3.7. I know what you're thinking, you could use this 
this directly into cloud as well but let me show you why it is so powerful so for example right here i have four of my emails from my email list so if you're not subscribed to my email newsletter please do i will leave a link in the description down below but as you can see here these are all emails from my newsletter and this is my writing style so i use this as my writing style then i have info about a tool that i want to make my next newsletter about so that is manas ai then next up i have some guides of how to write a good newsletter what i simply did is i asked it to write a newsletter for me so i asked it to write a newsletter based on all the sources that i gave it so i fed it like all of these sources and then it spits out an email like this hey there have you tried up manas ai yet it's a new chinese ai agent that's creating massive buzz and skepticism in the ai world then we have this complete like breakdown what it is why it is a hype and what makes it different so this is like i have gone through this and it looks completely like my style of writing so i'm actually using this for my newsletter i'm also using this for my video scripts now if we take a look at this board for example then we'll kind of get an idea what i do with this you see how many different sources i've linked into this board as you can see right here i have like my old script then i have some example videos then i have all of my videos in here so all of my best videos so it knows what my style is and then i also have some reference of how to write good scripts so it can use that too then i have my current intro and then it made something like this so then i wrote this intro for me and it's actually an insane intro so this is something i wouldn't even change that much i would only change like a few small minor things but if you don't understand like how powerful it is then let me know i will create a dedicated video about this so now that you understand how to use poppy ai to write your email newsletters you need an email marketing tool and for this i would recommend using get response now get response is one of the only email marketing tools out there that incorporates ai into their tool and it's actually pretty good for example if you go over to get response you can click on tools and here you can create an ai campaign now based on the input that you give it you can actually create something pretty cool with this so for example if i were to have a fitness coaching plan then i could sell it right here by filling in out all of these messages now after filling all of this information you click on the next step and then you can select your color palette so anything that you'd like so let's do bright for example and then you can generate your entire campaign using ai after the ai is done creating your campaign you can just review it and then you can easily change it with a few tweaks here and there so for example you can change it by using these basic blocks you can drag in an image if you'd like and then you can personalize more and send it out to your customers if you want to try this out for yourself you can do so for completely free get response actually has a 30-day free trial so you can play around with it have some fun with it and make something cool now if you want to do that i will leave a link in the description down below now this next on the list is actually pretty cool for any type of business owner that makes ads in particularly ugc ads because ugc ads are pretty expensive you see an ad like this avoid these two mistakes if you have an ad. or this one will actually cost you around like 200 dollars if you were to hire a real human person with arcade ai you will have a pretty cheap good looking ai ad just take a look at what i made right here so i incorporated this script right there then i generated all of these ads and believe it or not this is all generated using ai so they are like real people being cloned and then you have something pretty cool like this my dog was destroying everything out of boredom until i found this so within arcades you have a ton of different avatars that you can choose for your projects and i've liked all of these and to me these are all like pretty human-like. So all you have to do is you incorporate your script like I've done right here, and then you download the video that you like, then you edit it, and then you get something like this. Everything out of boredom until I found this. This rechargeable interactive ball is a game changer for high energy dogs. It has two modes. At number six, we have a tool that is automatically importing all of my YouTube videos and yeah. generates clips for this. This is huge for anyone that has a podcast, anyone that creates content or any business that also makes content. So this tool is named Opus Clip and it gave me like around like 17 clips from my latest YouTube channel. Now the way it works, if you go to home and then you go to auto import, then here you can link your YouTube channel. So I have my YouTube channel already linked and now what I will do 
is it will automatically create new projects whenever I've uploaded a video. And this allows you to get shorts fast. So if we take a look at some of the shorts, here we have the short for my latest video. I just connected it like yesterday and now I upload it today and it has done it from this video. This entire animation was created in just 20 minutes using... So yeah, that's pretty good already. We have like the captions going on and we can even edit it further in their custom editor timeline. Now, if you want to try out Opus Clip yourself, then I will leave a link for that in the description down below. Okay, I've saved the best for last because the last tool on the list is the one I'm most excited about. This one is called Manus AI and it's unlike anything you've seen before. It's currently still very limited. Only a few people have access to it. I'm among the lucky ones that has access to it. And it's actually like a general AI agent. Now, for example, what it can do is if I want to create an interactive game for a complete beginner to understand how to do coding, then I can just hit enter right here. And then it will start with a to-do list. It will do all of the things that is needed to be done. And it will live show you what it is working on. As you can see right here, it's now doing research on what is like coding, how it works. And it will continuously update the browser. And then it will also like literally look at the forums. It's kind of like having a personal assistant that is doing all of the research for you. Now, besides that, it will also write the code for you to make an interactive game. And it can not only do that, but it can also to do some podcast editing for you by just simply dropping in your files it will automatically transcribe them it will automatically code them based on the timestamps it's actually insane how good this has become this tool currently has a waitlist so i will leave a link to this waitlist where you can sign up so once it becomes available you can test it out yourself please let me know in the comments down below which of these ai tools was your favorite and if you'd like to see how you can use ai to generate thumbnails then click the video that's on the screen right now and i will teach you exactly how you can make cool looking thumbnails easily using AI.